Hello everyone, this is Bill Finnegan, your write-in candidate for Pensacola Township Committee. This hopefully short video is going to talk about how you're going to vote on Election Day. Remember that Election Day is November 8th from 6 a.m. till 8 p.m. But what if you're not sure where to go to vote? We will start there. You should have received a sample ballot in the mail. You can find the list of polling centers on that sample ballot. Another way is to turn to the internet. First, you can go to the CamdenCounty.com website and you'll see in the upper left hand corner a link that says Your Government. Click on that link and a list of links will appear on the left hand side. Click on Voter Information. Now you will see two options. Camden County Polling Places. If you click on that, it will take you to a list of towns. Click on Pensacola Township and it will list all of the polling centers in Pensacola Township listed by district number. However, most people do not know what their district number is. So your other option is to click on Polling Place Search. Follow that link until you have a box where you can type in your address. I'll type in my address here. And click on the search button. And you'll see your address will pop up. The election, election date is shown as well as the times and you are given a map with your polling center address. This should make it very easy to find the correct polling center based on where you live. Now you will see what to do once you arrive at the polling center. On the day of the election, walk into the polling place and go up to the table that has the listing for your designated voting district. Tell the board worker your name and address. The board worker will look up your name and instruct you to sign the voting authority pad. They will then compare your signature with the one provided in the poll book. If your signature matches, the board worker will have you sign the poll book. If this is a primary election, you will be permitted only to vote for candidates of the party for which you are currently registered. In New Jersey, you are not required to show an ID to vote unless your identity could not be verified when you first registered. It is a good idea to always bring a valid form of personal ID when you vote. Identification may include, but is not limited to, a current and valid photo ID or a current utility bill, bank statement, paycheck, or other government document that shows your current and complete name and current address. If there is a problem with finding your registration when you sign in, or you do not have the necessary ID, you cannot vote on the machine. However, you are permitted to vote by filling out what is called a provisional ballot. Ask the board worker for a provisional ballot. Once your registration is verified, you will be given the bottom portion of the numbered voting authority slip you signed earlier. Take this slip to the voting machine area and hand it to the poll worker who will direct you to enter the machine. Inside the booth, you will see the candidates listed. There may also be important ballot questions or referendums on which you may vote yes or no. To vote for a candidate, press the square button to the right of the candidate's name. A green X will appear, signifying your selection. To change a selection, press this square button again. The green X will disappear and you may make a new selection. In order to cast a write-in vote, press the square button in the personal choice column located next to the office for which you wish to cast your write-in vote. A 
a blinking green X will appear, which will allow you to type in the candidate's name for whom you wish to vote. Use the write-in keyboard in front of you. The name you have typed will appear in the lighted panel. If a correction needs to be made, use the left arrow on the keyboard to change your selection. To cast your vote, push the Enter button located on the write-in keyboard. Repeat this process for each write-in vote. Do not press the Cast Vote button until you are completely done with all of your voting selections, including any referendum or ballot questions. Once you press the Cast Vote button, your entire voting session is complete. You will not be permitted to re-enter the voting booth.